the oppressors and then we have the oppressed. And Tony of Blessed Memory, I met him the night I joined the sanitation and he passed on Tuesday at a shooting zone. Are, so are you serious? Wow. Yes. Wow. I attended the NSAS protest because personally I've been brutalized by the police at the age of 14 and it's really crazy. It was a really crazy experience for me, you know, and I feel if we don't do anything about it now, our future kids might also, you know, experience that. And it was a great feel. I went with my sister, by the way, um, and that was on a Friday, like four days before the, the mishap at Le Lekki. I saw a lot of Nigerian youths like myself. I was inspired. Like, I was so ginger to keep coming and coming. And I was more ginger when I saw Fari's um, active participation, you know, in the protest. Like, she was there like every day, if I'm not mistaken, because I could tell the shirts she wore on each day. The last shirt she wore was Sorosoke. And I asked her to wear the shirt today because I was going to steal the shirt. <laughs> and she deliberately didn't want to wear it. But anyway, I'm going to get the shirt later. But Fari, what, what inspired you to join the protest? Um, I've been in the situation when SARS harassed me and my friends twice. Mm. So it wasn't really nice. It's, um, I had a fear that day and I didn't know what would come out of it. But by God's grace, we were safe and protected. Uh, so basically, why it concerns me because I would love to stay in Nigeria. I like this country. And if I'm staying here, if I'm having a family in the future, I have to think about them. Yeah. If I'm raising kids in Nigeria, I have to think about their future. Yeah. So I would love them to be raised here. Yeah. And there are a lot of things that are um, disturbing me from doing that. I'm thinking about other countries as well. But I know Nigeria has everything, everything, for Nigeria to be a greatest country, not even just in Africa, yeah. but even in the world. So. Nigeria can be the most touristic country. Nigeria has um, financials, Nigeria has potentials, Nigeria has um, nature that nobody knows about, nothing about nature in Nigeria. There is no security, people cannot travel from other countries. A lot of people love Nigeria, they, la they like the culture. I have a lot of friends from different countries, they always talk about Nigeria. They wish to come but they fear, they're really scared. They're scared that they will be robbed, they're scared that they will be harassed, they're scared of a lot of They'll things. They'll be kidnapped. They'll be kidnapped, a lot of things. So, you only see people like me that don't have fear, they risk and come and stay. But we are just few. What about others? Speaking of risking your fear, like you're very fearless. I saw a video <laughs> on your reel. You, you climbed the bridge. I don't know which bridge that was. They were walking on, Echo on like I'm on a rough flip. That was Eco Bridge. Wow. wow. Uh, yes, I like climbing things though. <laughs> it's normal. Yes, I like, I like climbing things. So, okay, so I participated in the NSAS protest because I I lost faith in Nigeria at some point. But when I saw the energy, of the protesters, I was like, wait, this could be an opportunity. And even like some people in my family were like, don't go, stay safe. <laughs> like you're the generation that caused this problem. Yes. But my generation will not off the mic. We're going to yeah. speak up. So, 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 so I was like, I'm going to be a part of this because I, I believe that posterity will not forgive me. Like, how am I going to tell my children that something as powerful as this happened and I wasn't a part of it? Yes. So I decided I was going to go. And when I went, the first time I went, I was just standing around. It didn't make sense to me. I wanted to be useful. So I joined the sanitation team. I was part awesome. of those people awesome. picking up liters. And Tony of Blessed Memory, I met him the night I joined the sanitation. And he passed on Tuesday at the shooting. Are, so you, so are you serious? Wow. Wow. Yes. I wow. was I was shocked to hear that because this wow. is someone I met the previous night, wow. you know, part of the wow. sanitation team. So um, I think that the, the the lives of people that were lost at the protest ground, we should we that are living, we should not let it be in vain. Yeah. We should yeah. continue the struggle. And I think that but somehow, listen, there are good people in Nigeria. Yeah. That protest made me realize that that there are good people in Nigeria. Yeah. Stolen phones were being returned. We yeah. were our own security. Yeah. We took care of sanitation. Yeah. We took care of feeding. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are good yeah. people. So I believe that this country can be great. And yeah. that's why I'm calling on everybody, as far as you're in Nigeria, 
do what you can to make the country great. And if you're out there accepting chicken change to disrupt peaceful protests, change. You need to change because this struggle is for you, for your unborn. You guys saw the, the small boy who sold stuff and refused to collect money because he said, I want to be able to go to school. So whatever it is you guys are fighting for, I'm all for it. That should be the attitude. If a child can do them, why should grown people not understand that the struggle is for them? So I'm calling on every well-meaning, good-thinking Nigerian to be a part of this and together we can end bad governance in Nigeria. Yeah. I believe in Nigeria a lot. I mean, I'm an ardent supporter of the Super Eagles, whenever the Super Eagles is playing. I, I, you cannot find me sitting here when the Super Eagles is playing. I, I, I have all my Nigerian jerseys. I, I can't so where are you when they're playing? I, I watch. <laughs> I watch. Watching? I don't miss. Okay. I have all my Super Eagles jersey and this new one, I'm going to get home and read back to back. Wow. So I believe in Nigeria so much and I, it pains me when I hear people say, Jaffa, that word Jaffa, it pisses me off. <laughs> I used to be a Jaffa section. No, it's not a good thing. Let us find a way to make wow. Nigeria a great Jaffa. Run the way. And I think the word that, that gets me angry or the country that I, I hate to hear is Canada. Yeah. Hmm. People who say Canada, Canada, it gets me all upset because Canada has been there for how many years? Yeah. Because they don't said they will give Nigeria a free visa, everybody won't go there. But we, we should make our Nigeria great that people want to come here. And we can do it, I believe we can do it. Okay, so first of all, I'm against oppression. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people in this country are being oppressed. Um, and when, when you talk about financially, because they are not financially stable, they are being oppressed. Also academically, and these are young people who are actually facing. They, they face go through a lot of oppression by those who are. So Nigeria is more like we have two categories of people in Nigeria. We have the oppressors, and then we have the oppressed. So now, like the oppressed are the ones suffering the whole um, police brutality, the bad governance. Because those who have money, they don't feel these things. They feel like even if there is a problem in Nigeria, they can always fix it with their money and they are less concerned. So I was part of the NSAS protest because I am somebody who is very active when it comes to politics and changing Nigeria. So I decided to go join and then I was inspired seeing people of my age grade coming out to protest because we're all fighting for a cause. We want Nigeria to be a better country. We want to be proud of our country because many of us I'm not actually proud to see Nigeria is our country. So that is one thing I would like to change and I want everybody to stand together and fight bad governance. It must end. We can't take any more, like it needs to end. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think our government should understand that this fight is not against them in their individual capacity. Yeah. Because I think they are taking it personally. <laughs> if you listen if you listen to the address my president, he kept referring to unscrupulous elements that are trying to disrupt <laughs> no, this, the nation. It's not about them, per se, their individual this, this current, It's about the system. Yes, this current Nigerian government reminds me of the Hitler times. Oh. Cold, no hearted, like they. I don't, they I don't want. To, yes, like cold hearted people that. Don't really, don't really care. I'm not scared to talk about it because it's actually the truth. Yeah. Uh, they don't really care about their people, their own blood. So sad. So, so I'm really praying for change, and if it takes me even a life to, to make change, I'm ready to do it. So I didn't want to say anything before oh. because I was already becoming sorry, emotional. So, oh, so sorry. I down first. Yeah, sorry, I get myself because I was just thinking of the Lekki massacre oh. first, so it got me emotional. Okay, so actually, I'll be very honest, nothing actually inspires me in Nigeria. I'm going to be very honest because I was in a competition and we were even asked to do a peace song. Mm -hmm. So I was like the last person to come to the studio and record my own part because I was, not, I was just thinking, what would I write about Nigeria? Peace. Peace, peace for what? I mean, like, so coming out of the house, so at, at least I did the solo anyways, but coming out of the house and seeing the whole SARS brutality and all, so I got really emotional. And I also had an experience with a friend when we were coming back from school. So they harassed the guy because he was all cute and fine. And so I don't know, like, what the hell is your business? <laughs> it's my business. And seeing a lot of people 
at um, the Lekki Toll Gate. So I was really, really inspired to join the protest. And I was really say that we should end this bad governance. It's very, very important in our country. The present leadership, let me not just talk, because if I talk now, so before, they will, before they will come and arrest me. Yeah. <laughs> so how can we end this bad governance? We're all saying bad governance. How? How can we end PBC? Yes, our PBC. Let's get our PBCs. We shouldn't, we shouldn't talk about our strategies for the future. True. Yes. 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 Yes